Hey everyone, welcome back. I have been juggling so many different projects, both personal and for YouTube. And with everything going on, it just didn't seem like I was going to be able to put a video out this week. And the weather hasn't really been cooperating either. But instead of skipping this Sunday's video, I thought I would jump on here for just a moment and share with you a quick haul of a couple interesting things that I found the other day. Also, side note, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do that and hit the notification bell so you're notified of when I release those projects that I'm working on, which will probably be maybe like mid-April or so. But before we dive into my haul, I want to share a little backstory just to set the scene of how I came across all of these things. So I try to get a 30 minute walk in every day. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the day just to get away from the computer and outside the house and just have some fresh air. And I was on my walk, I think on Wednesday and I walked by a garage sale sign and I was like, maybe these people are putting it out for Saturday coming around, but I knew that it was gonna be raining. So I was like, I might as well just go check to see what's going on over there and see what house it is. And lo and behold, they actually were having like a midweek garage sale, which is so cool. I've never seen that before. And it was just kind of a bunch of random stuff all over the driveway, like old golf balls and golf clubs and like water stain dictionary and some random things, bits and bobs that I didn't even know what they were. So I was kind of disappointed. I didn't really see anything, but I started to walk away and then some woman like called out and was like, oh, did you check out everything in the house? And I was like, no, I didn't know that you guys were having an estate sale. And she was like, well, I mean, I guess it's an estate sale, but it's not anything official. My father just passed away recently and we're just trying to get rid of as much stuff as we can as fast as we can for like as cheap as possible. And I was like, okay, sure. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'd love to check out what you have. And so she's like, yeah, absolutely. Come on in. So just out of respect for her situation and that there was only like three other people in the house, I didn't film, it just didn't feel right. But I did pick up a lot of really great deals. So let me show you what I found. Okay, so the first thing that caught my eye was this green glass teardrop bud vase. I actually have an identical one in yellow and I love it. I use it all the time. So I thought I would pick this up because it was only 50 cents and I think I could use it in my sister-in-law's bathroom makeover. I think it would just be nice to have some like green interesting glass in there. Uh, so this was a great find. So this other thing that was also green that caught my eye is this vintage uh, sewing organizer. It actually has a lot of sewing materials in here, which is pretty cool. I got it for $2 and I just love the shape of it. I think it's really great and I can definitely use this like in the garage for all my screws and things, or I could even use it in my office for any kind of like bits and bobs that I need to put away. I just really like the shape and the color and for two bucks, why not? Okay, and then this is my favorite find. It's this cute little side table. It's made out of wood. It feels very old. She said she had it since she was a kid. It just needs a lot of cleaning and it was only $10. I really love it. I think it's just the cutest thing ever. And I don't really have a place for this at the moment, but I'm always working on a room makeover for myself or somebody else. And so I could definitely use it as a side table or a plant stand or something like that. So for $10, I think it's worth putting in the garage for now. Next up are some ceramics. So I got this really pretty kind of drippy glaze. I think it's a terracotta pot and it's probably used for plants. Um, it's just kind of small, but it could be a great vessel for just about anything. And I really like the color and just kind of the patina on it. And then I also picked up this one for a dollar. I just really liked the scalloping and like the little feet on the bottom. And on the back, it says H58. I'm not really sure what that means but I just got a really nice glaze and coloring to it and I can always use a vessel somewhere. I really just thought this was cute. And then I also picked up this ceramic milk jug. I really like the shape of it and the coloring. I seem to kind of be attracted towards this. And I also kind of have been picking up random kitchen stuff to just kind of get an idea of what kind of vibe I want in there and just kind of solidify the direction. So for 50 cents, it's worth it for me to like try some decor out in the kitchen and kind of get an idea of what I want to be sticking with. But otherwise I would probably maybe put this in like my two cell box. I kind of have this like ongoing two cell box of things that I pick up that are really interesting, but I'm not sure if I'll use them. So I don't want to like keep them just hanging around the house. And eventually I think I'm going to set up like an online Etsy shop or something so I can get rid of this stuff and just send it to a home for someone who actually really wants to appreciate it more than I do. But in terms of kitchen items as well, I also picked up these really pretty like silver serving utensils. They've got this like really beautiful pattern on them and they're really heavy. I've got like the spoon and the, I guess like cake server. And then I've got this kind of like fork for, I guess like meat serving. And I just thought these were really gorgeous and beautiful and kind of ornate. I don't often find something that's like maybe so full on silver or sterling silver, but these were $3 a piece. And I thought that these were just really great things to have around. And I got two of the cake servers. So I might end up selling this as a set or just even having this for myself. Another thing I want to try out in the kitchen, I guess. I also picked up another 
thing from their kitchen. It was this stainless steel made in Japan kind of probably like it looks like a gravy boat or something. But honestly, I feel like I could use this as a vessel or I could easily turn this into like a flip. I have my box of like stuff that I find at the thrift store and I don't know what to do with it, but it inspires me that I can maybe sometime make something with it. And I feel like this kind of fits in that category. On the bottom, it just says stainless steel Japan. And I just kind of liked the shape. It was 25, 50 cents. So it's really not a big deal if I don't end up using it, but it kind of could be like a nice like serving dish to put like nuts in if people come over or salsa. I don't know. I'll have to like think about it, but I like it. Next up is this cute little red Lucite plastic picture frame holder. She gave this to me for free, actually. I actually took it, though, because I feel like it really matches the vibe of my office. And I got a little like red clip picture holder thing in my Christmas stocking last year. And I feel like that just kind of fits with this. So I'm going to put a cute picture in here and put this in my office. Already moving on to candle stuff. I got a few different candle things that I really liked. So let me show you those. OK, first up are these two gold or brass. I feel like this one is a gold plated. It's really heavy. And then this one's like a antique uh, tarnished brass candlestick. But I always pick these up because they're nice to have. I liked having like a mixed collection during Christmas. I don't need matchy matchy ones. I do also want to try cleaning these with like Bon Ami and vinegar, I believe. It's like a non-toxic way to shine them up. I do kind of like the patina and the tarnish though. So I don't know. These are just always good to have on hand for just about anything. Next up are these really interesting brutalist type votives. I got three of them for 25 cents each and only one of them came with the actual glass votive inside and it does seem like a really specific shape so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other two except for look for something to fit it however they're I think made out of cast iron they're just really heavy and I could see myself maybe spray painting these and kind of doing like another like you know DIY thrift flip kind of situation where I turn these into something else these have such an awesome shape to them even if they were like this as like legs or a stand um, I think this is a really cool architectural piece that I would definitely pick up at the thrift store if I saw it there that you could put into your like thrift flip box for later if you're needing some kind of interesting decor. Um, sometimes I just want to add like a new flair to the room and having pieces like this on hand to kind of like hot glue or spray paint or whatever are just really great and so I think that's why I took these. Next up are these really pretty candle snuffers. This first one it doesn't really move so you just kind of put it down like this. It's definitely like a tarnished brass. I got it for two dollars. It's got a really pretty end and it's like twisty and pretty and it just needs the wax cleaned off of it and probably the tarnish removed as well because it's got a lot of dust. And then this one I thought was so pretty too. It's got this kind of tulipy bottom and it kind of moves. So you, I don't know what the advantage is totally to this, but it's a little bit more agile. And I love like the bottom. It kind of looks like a honey stick or something, but these are really pretty and these are typically pretty expensive if you wanted to buy one at the flea market. So I thought I would grab both of these and if I end up keeping one and selling another, then that's great for me. So I also grabbed a couple random things that were kind of even surprising to me. I felt like they were really interesting and I kind of wanted to sit with them for a while. I didn't know if it's something that I could use or if it's also just something to add to my to sell box. But I saw this little bread basket or something or whatever it is, this container of this little like woven duck with the open beak. And I like how the neck is like kind of arched back toward the basket. And I am not sure what I would do with this, especially since I have one. But I'm like, I don't know, I could use this in somebody's bathroom makeover maybe or um, I don't know, it's just really interesting. And I think I'm just gonna sit with it for a while, but I think she ended up giving this to me for a dollar. So it really wasn't like a huge deal to buy it and kind of think about it. I think having like animal themes in like sculpture form are kind of interesting decor. I have like a really pretty sculpture of a crane that I got at a garage sale. I think it's made out of bone. Someone bought it at the San Diego Zoo and it's just really pretty. It kind of just adds a lot of interest. I think that's also why people buy like those brass like geese or ducks or whatever that they can put on their desk or on their bookshelf. It's just kind of something different, you know? Another random thing I picked up was this vintage Rummy Cube game. It is pronounced Rummy Cube. I looked it up. I actually love this game so much. We love doing game nights and we've played so many games and this is honestly in like one of my top five and it was only a dollar. And when I opened it up, it was brand new. It had never been used. It was still in the plastic. So absolutely love this. If you've never played Rummy Cube before, you should definitely check it out because it's a really fun game. So for those of you who have been with the channel for quite some time now, I appreciate you. Thank you 
you so much. I see your comments all the time every week and you've been really supportive. And you probably remember I was looking a lot for napkin rings or napkins because I was hosting Thanksgiving and all that stuff. And I found some napkin rings that were really pretty, but it wasn't a complete set. And I'm always the person who's encouraging you to buy stuff, even if it's not a complete set, because you'll eventually come across something else. And I found this pack of six and two of them, like there's three sets in here and each one is matching. And so two of the sets actually fit a set that I bought like a year and a half ago. So I'm really glad I got these and the whole thing was $1.50. And I just think these are really pretty and I don't use napkin rings often at home, just on day-to-day -day use. But like if I'm having people over and we're doing like the nice dining room dinner or brunch or something, I'm absolutely gonna pull out the napkin rings. So I love these and I highly recommend you always look for these. So another like staple item that I'm always looking for are frames. And I actually came across these wood frames that have matching matting in a really nice red tone that actually matches this whole dining room and living room area. So these are great to have on hand, especially if I wanna swap something out on the gallery wall or just fill up like a little random wall with some extra frames. I kinda wanted to add a cute little one above our mailbox. Um, and it's really hard to find frames that are matching, that are in good shape, and they have matting that is in good shape. It's great because then you don't have to DIY your own. And these were $2, so I thought this was a great deal. I obviously cannot ever stop like touching my hair. It changes from frame to frame. So I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. But I've been like that my whole life. Anyways, I have found the coolest things at this estate sale slash garage sale. Um, I did not expect to find them, but they're two vintage Ikea items. So the first one were these really cute like chrome espresso cups and saucers. I got a set of two and I just thought that these were so cool. I feel like they're really mid-century and fun. And I probably think that somebody would have looked at these and be like, oh my God, that's so like old and 90s. But I really like these. I think they're super cute. And I probably will keep them just because I collect like espresso sets that are really cute and fun and pretty. Um, these were only $4 for the whole thing. So this was really great. The other vintage Ikea things I found were these Ikea frames. These are like the breedest ones. I guess they're from the 90s or the 2000s. And Eva Moritz and Peter Moritz, I guess, designed this. It was, a, it was a thing. I don't know. I looked it up on reverse Google search and I thought these were so cool. They, they just got like a really fun, like orange Lucite vibe. And from the front, it's super minimal. And from the side, you get more of that. But I thought this would be awesome in my sister-in-law's uh, bathroom makeover because we want to bring in that like cool pop of orange. So I thought this might be an option, especially in that archway. Um, but I could also see me putting this in my office as well if I wanted to change out some art. So getting two of these for $6.99 was so cool. I saw some of them online for like 40 bucks. So I thought this was really a fun find. Okay, I think that was everything. Just a short and sweet, quick little haul and check-in. I really thought some of those pieces were kind of cool. So I really wanted to share them with you, especially because I think I paid like maybe 20 bucks in total for all of this stuff. So I thought that was a great steal. But if you want to see some more secondhand shopping on my channel, I will link a playlist in the description below. And I also think I'm going to add like a deep cuts playlist of videos that I made like earlier on in my YouTube journey and just things that I thought were really great, maybe got on notice because I was still new to YouTube. So if you want to go check out the old stuff that I've worked on, definitely do that. Other than that, I can't believe this channel is almost at 5k subscribers. It's just wild to even think about that many people. And I just think it's really cool that we've all been able to connect and we all have like similar tastes. And I think that's why I love YouTube. So I'm happy that you guys are all here and all the people who have been here from the beginning, you guys are awesome and have very much supported me and encouraged me to keep going. So I very much appreciate it and means a lot. And I feel like once we hit 5k, maybe I should do something special like a Q and A or a live or a giveaway or something. I don't know. Um, but other than that, I think that is it. And I will see you next week with another video. So enjoy your weekend and I'll see you then. Bye.